Boom! Stupid ass. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a tutorial. I did a throwback recently where I made a video where I put out a video that's been previously unlisted. And today I thought, you know what? Let me show you how this trick is done. It's a variation on the Red Hot Mama Car trick, a little bit of a hot variant. And uh, it involves a little bit of a melding process instead of the usual, oh wait, let me turn your card a different color. So today we're gonna go into that and show you how you could be the life of the party without paying Julius Dean $67. For this trick, you're gonna need a couple things. A deck of playing cards, you're gonna need a soda stream bottle. You're also gonna need the cap for the soda stream bottle. And you're gonna need a little bit of a placemat that came with a sake set. So you're gonna need all this and a uh, deck of cards. So you're gonna take your deck of cards and you're gonna get a blue card. So let's say your deck is red. You're gonna get a single blue card right here. Single being the keyword, blue card and it's going to be the Jack of Clubs. Now I'm gonna grab the single red card that matches that Jack of Clubs and also put it on the bottom of the deck. So my setup is regular Jack, blue Jack, deck, placemat, water bottle, cap, uh, box, and we're good to go. Right now I'm ready to blow some loads, blow some mines, and then really get into the, uh, get into the pants of a participant. So you're gonna have somebody pick a card and make sure that you don't spread all the way through to prematurely show your setup. You don't wanna do that. So uh, one way to avoid this is by just uh, shuffling the uh, top half of the deck. And when you spread the cards, not being completely retarded and not spreading to the bottom. That's the way that you avoid that. Uh, a little bit of a hot um, Ed Marlowe tip there. So you're gonna have a, a card picked. In this case, let's say the card happens to be the Ace of Hearts, great selection on the part of the uh, invisible participant. All I'm gonna do is cut the cards into my left hand. You see that move? I'm just cutting the cards. That's all I'm doing. So now in my right hand, I have this dirty, disgusting setup right there waiting, waiting to be used on this dirty, disgusting, the whore, the whore of the Ace of Hearts. And here is the move. Here's all you're gonna do. You ready for this? Look, the Ace of Hearts goes on top of the left-handed packet. The right-handed packet gets dropped. All you've done is cut the deck and put the Ace of Hearts in the middle. So that now when you spread it, you get a little bit of a, you get a little bit of a moment here reminiscent of the Red Hot Mama, the Chicago opener. One thing that kind of upset me is uh, people put, isn't this the Chicago opener? Isn't this Red Hot Mama? It's clearly fucking not. So why would you post a comment so re-fucking-tarted? If it's clearly not the same trick, Red Hot Mama would be, oh, here's your card, the Ace of Hearts. Well, I'm going to turn another card blue. Let's do this this time, sir. Why don't you call stop anytime you wish? Right there? Perfect. That's going to be your card. And your card is going to turn blue. It doesn't. Oh, man. Wait, it did. Look. Look. It turned blue. Oh, boy. That's Red Hot Mama Chicago opener, you fucking inbred. This is entirely different. This is a little bit of a combination of ideas. Uh, so one more time, you have a card picked. Uh, let's say it's the Three of Clubs. Three of Clubs gets cut into the middle. This half gets placed on top of the Three of Clubs, and now you do a little bit of a magic move, and you uh, spread the cards and show the fact that there's a blue card. But when you square it up, here's the move right here. I'm squaring this up with the card directly underneath it. If you have no idea what I'm talking about here, you should check out the Pig Cake Magic Academy. $5 a month gets you two videos every single week going over card stuff, coin stuff. Over 700 videos already totally, including the piggybacker tier videos, which is two additional tutorials that I don't post anywhere else. Nowhere else will you find these tutorials, which are added automatically once you join the Academy. Oh boy, $5 a month, check it out. So you get a pinky break underneath the second card from the top of the packet here, and you're gonna do a double lift and show the fact that it happens to be the card they picked. Now you're gonna turn this double back over and drop that on a table. That's all you're doing here. Not really much of a difficult move. And you say, you know what? We'll try something else here. We're gonna try something else. Now I'm gonna turn this packet over and thumb off the duplicate red Jack of Clubs and say, we're gonna try something with the Jack of Clubs here. Now at this point, I'm gonna drop this half on the table and I'm gonna turn this Jack of Clubs face down on top of 
the uh, left-handed packet. So all I've done right now is I've turned over the right half here and say, I'll tell you what, we'll do it with the card directly next to it, the Jack of Clubs. So this card, we're actually going to try and uh, do a little bit of a, a little bit of a fusion ha, if you're familiar with Dragon Ball Z. So all I've done here is that I've picked up what they think is the Three of Clubs with a blue back. I've taken it with what they think is the Jack of Clubs with a red back, which actually it is a Jack of Clubs. And now I'm going to score these two up. But here's the move here. I'm just going to leave that red jack on top of the deck as I turn both of these supposed cards over. So right now it looks like this is the Three of Clubs and this is the Jack and I've just picked them up together. This is what it looks like here. But really all I've done is square the red backed Jack of Clubs with the rest of the deck as I've taken the uh, just single blue backed Jack of Clubs here. So right now it looks like both of these cards are being held together. So now when I take it to my left hand, I can do a little bit of a little bit of a Paul Harris move here where I use my pinky to flick down on the left edge at the same time that I flick up with my thumb and it it sounds like two riffles see so it sounds like there are two cards there so you could do that or whatever you want and now at this point you can meld these two cards supposedly together into one so it's different than red hot mama you inbred but it's still a very unique effect in that you've taken both cards and you've melded them into one so that's what i like about this particular handling of it now towards the end i did have a little bit of an optional phase where i shake it where I shake off the other card. So let me show you how to do that. Remember right now you're left in a situation where you have a duplicate card here on top, followed by the card they picked, which is the three of clubs. So we're gonna need to ditch this Jack. Now a very easy way to do it is just putting it in the middle here as I square up the cards. So as I bring my right-handed half, I'm just gonna put that Jack of clubs in the middle as I square up the cards and I keep a break right there above the three of clubs so one more time all i've done let's pretend this is the jack of clubs i've just taken this card stuck it in there again i'm not drawing attention to this this should be after the routine is over all i'm doing is losing that jack in the middle as i get a break right there below or sorry above the uh, card the spectator pick which happens to be the three so now i could double undercut that card directly to the top of the deck so now here is a little bit of a shake move. We're gonna do a coin move, but with cards. The move is known as hand ping ching. So it should look like I have nothing in my hand, but then I drop something on the table and it happens to be the card. You see that? You see what I'm doing here? So if I, uh, if I get a bottle cap, for example, and I do this, it should look like the card came out of the bottle cap. You see that? If you do it correctly, it looks like it just shot out of the bottle cap. But what I'm doing is a, is a coin move, but with, the actual cards themselves. Look how good that looks. Oh man, you don't see the card there? Oh well, you you must have terrible eyesight, sir. Look, you should look deeper. Make sure that you could see the card in there. Look, it's there. You see that? If you do it right, it looks great because it looks like the card either just shoots out and uh, gets uh, cascaded across the table or just falls directly underneath. So you could do it however it is that you want, but ultimately you have a nice little bit of a, of a, a way of incorporating a classic coin move into a card trick. So this is the actual move itself. I'm gonna shake off the jack here. I'm gonna shake it at the same time I have a pinky break directly underneath the spectator's card. So I'm gonna shake it just like this and I'm gonna take my hand away from this position right here. So as I do that, at some point, I'm just gonna leave the card. So I'm just gonna drop the card at the same time that I remove my hand and do a downward thrust with the jack. So when both of these actions are combined, it just looks like that card happens to shoot out the other card directly underneath it. So one more time, it just looks like this. And it looks like I've just launched that card from inside of the folds of the card that I'm holding in my hand. So however you want to do it, but you're dropping this card at the same time that I'm tapping the uh, Jack of Clubs and also removing my left hand. It's a little bit of a knacky move, but once you get it down, it definitely looks great. And at this point, the logic being that the card that I've thrown on the table is the uh, is now a red backed, right? You see that? So you're doing a little bit of a Monty move. So you could show the fact that you now have a uh, supposed red back Jack, right? You see that? You see that little Monty move? So this is the uh, end part of the routine. All I'm doing is that I'm making sure that the blue card is on the bottom. I'm taking the cards right here with my right hand and I'm gonna do the classic Monty switch where I'm gonna stroke this bottom jack with my thumb, then as I turn both cards over, I'm just doing this. 
So I'm just doing this a little bit right here so that it looks like that's the bottom card, especially if I tap the jack twice, then I do this the little bit of a spin move. Like I'm a uh, Michael Vick in, uh, in Madden NFL 2005, 2K5. You're going to do a little bit of a spin move here and it's going to look like that's the same card, but really that card is actually the three, a little bit of an optical switch here. So what this allows you to do is supposedly transfer the color back to the original jack and take it off of the three. So one more time here, the blue back card is on the bottom. I've done the a little bit of a Monty move here. So now when I turn both cards over, it feels like that is the red back jack. However, it's not, it's actually a three. So at this point, I could just pretend to wipe off that blue onto this red back card here. So I'm gonna pretend to wipe off that blue. Really, I'm just switching both cards. That's all I'm doing. I'm just switching both cards just like this. And I could turn this card over and show it to be uh, a dirty, disgusting, clean uh, three of clubs, which is the card they picked. And finally, a blue back jack. So it's a nice little bit of a way to end the routine. If you want, it's completely optional, but you still have the possibility of doing that if you wanna go the extra step. If you want, you can just end it at the melt phase. You could just end it at the uh, melting together phase and you're still gonna have a wonderful trick. Uh, this is also a great principle if you wanna take that and other things, for example. Uh, oh, oh, look, it's uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Look, it's Jeffrey Epstein's bottle cap. What's this? Oh, look, it's a log of all the people that were boarding the Lolita Express to his pedophile island. That came out of nowhere. But that's a trick. That's a fun one, right? A little bit of a fun one. Definitely not Red Hot Mama. Definitely not Chicago Opener. So you could stop leaving your stupid suggestions in the comments below uh, that are incorrect. But apart from that, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it. Uh, and I hope you guys stay safe. I hope you guys are uh, safe in all these uh, rough times. Um, I'm going to go and uh, think, about, uh, think about what I've done. I'm going to go and think about what I've done. So... Oh boy, this is really uncomfortable. I don't know how uh, how girls do it for so long. I don't know how girls do it for so long, but this is really uncomfortable. Uh, girls and guys, some guys do this. Not all guys, but uh, some guys. No judgment here. Just uncomfortable, you know? Whew. Oh boy, I think I'm good, I think I'm good.